Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing well. We're just going to check a little bit of energy here. I just did another read on my Spoon channel, and boy, I've just been really long-winded, I guess, here lately. That one was about 27 minutes long, <laughs> and I really don't want to go that long, but I guess if it happens to be that way, then so be it. Um, the great one will bring out what he wants to. If you're new, I look at criminal activity, so it's real talk here, okay? And I'm known to really roar at wicked energy, okay? If you're being affected by this energy and allowing it to influence you in a really nasty way, you're probably not going to like me if you like being like that because I will roar at that wicked energy, okay? And so I do a lot of spiritual warfare here on this channel against that stuff. Try to encourage people to get up. Just look in the mirror, man. Everybody's falling down. Everybody's been a dumb dumb sometime in their life. It's time to stop. And uh, if you don't want to stop, then we're going to war and shut you down real quick. Okay. And so <laughs> I'm just real bold on my channel. And I've just had to learn how to um, let the great one teach me how to fight in this uh, spiritual war so that uh, I, I don't know, just so that I could help other people to learn how to do that as well so that we can guard things and not let it in okay guarding the heart because issues will flow out of it and then once issues are out you got to clean it up and it causes all kinds of just oozy mess everywhere and so I intentionally look at the synergy like this. So yeah, viewer discretion advised, if you have little children around, I would just suggest that you, you know, have them maybe leave the room or something like that. So, but anyway, welcome. All right. I love the Hamashiach. I confess the Christ who lives in my heart. And uh, you will hear me say Yehovah Elohim because that's our father in heaven's name. People call him the universe, but he has a name. So if you've never heard, you know, Yehovah and you're like, who was she saying? That's that's the father. OK. And so I ask at his hand alone because there is no other hand to ask at the hand of. Um, he is the only wise king of the universe. And I fear him and revere him. You'll learn the tarot in a whole new way here. So if you just stick around, you'll learn me as we go. All right. I want to take a look at the now in the next 24 hours. So I just appreciate you so very much. Show me the right now. Just a minute ago in my spoon reading, I had swords everywhere. And the word dark night and soul came out. I, I named it that uh, on the title of that video. And uh, some, somebody got some balancing issues, really, really bad mental stuff. I mean, there were just swords everywhere. And somebody really is going through the dark night of soul for some stuff that's taking place and went down. And it is what it is. In the right now moment, we have good, solid messages of some sort with the page of coins coming out here. This is, um, you know, time energy. Something's going to take time with whatever's being said. Since pentacles go back to slow moving energy, it's a little communication with the page. But pages bring some type of good news if you're in the upright or if you're going to change something and get out of something that's been not good. Um, this would be some type of a good, solid message here about something. Okay. The nine of cups. This is emotional fulfillment. If somebody's speaking about somebody who has a overindulgent energy, just given that I did bring out uh, the, the Ten of Swords, clarify the Ten of Swords in that reading as well. And the Ten of Swords can also represent somebody who has an addiction somewhere as well. Okay, so whatever. But this is like overindulging energy and narcissistic stuff that's in a negative. Otherwise, whatever this is, it's a wish fulfillment um, for us in the right now. So that's positive. Uh, somebody's going to finally stop something that, you know, given, because I'm going to take away from the energy that I just read for, uh, then that, then something's positive out here. If you're having to break away from somebody who's negative, that's positive communication for those of you who are dealing with that. One more for the now. What else you want to bring out here? Thank you. Work, yes. Work has really been coming out. The Eight of Pentacles was here really big for those element readings as well. And somebody has been greedy and stubborn and everything else. Uh, somebody did collaborate something. The Three of Wands was in that reading, and this will break down to collaborating things. Um, and somebody's been sitting there acting like they don't know what's going on or won't open up about the situation with the Four of Pentacles. Uh, trying to secure something here. Um, 
So working organization is here and somebody is giving some type of, uh, you know, communication or whatever the, whatever the greeting this has been, then so be it. There's the hierophant, morals, ethics, okay, society. So there are people that are involved. There was all kinds of court cards also coming out in that reading as well. There's Queen Sword. There, you know, like I said, there was a lot of people there in that reading. The Three of Pentacles is here as well. So we got... The majority of what's showing is pentacles. This will take you back to pentacles as well. What's underneath the hierophant? The judgment, the head, the man, the boss. Okay, some type of a, a, of a choice out here, folks, has been a consequence on some situation out here. Okay? And somebody going to get cut with that queen of swords energy because something is over. All right. Well, let's just take words, though, on the right now with this page. Show me what this page is saying. We knew this was coming because you all stated so in a very big way yesterday and today. What's this page? So some people might be freaking out in their mind because the word, um, I don't know how it was written on the card, but something about in the morning. And a lot of people are returning to work on Monday morning. Uh, so some people, if you're caught up into some stuff and something's over for you because everything has to come to an end it can't go on and on and on if you think you're you know whatever you traded for uh it was going to be something lasting if it was in deception okay and you're dealing with some stupidness uh you've just been overindulging within something greedy it's catching up somebody show me the um show me the page of coins what's the word out here we also had something about parents, and so if you're, you know, somebody's parents getting some type of communication to work on something, then that's positive. If that's sincere, somebody had hidden intentions somewhere. Uh, a lot of that's past energy, but, you know, some people still got stupid. Something's hurtful out here around communication. Yes, and somebody's got to give a good, solid message around that ordeal. Okay? Um... Especially with that Queen of Swords, that's real sharp. Some people have to be real sharp because you're dumb idiots. Someone tall keeps coming out. So that's a clue. If you're really tall and something's taking place where some hurtful thing is either you've done it or somebody's done it to you or whatever that is, somebody tall just really keeps coming out in a very big way. Give us more information on the communication, please. What else you want to bring out here, Yehovah? This one catching my hands. Uh, Yehovah says, so this, Yehovah's given a message here. We see an angel here as well. A messenger is here. Yehovah says, touch not my prophets and do them no harm. And something has been hurtful in a very bad way uh, to spiritual people. Yehovah's been bringing that out, okay? And so some people don't give a rip about that. They don't. And it's going to cost you, and it already has, and somebody's freak in their mind because of what they've done to somebody that they shouldn't have, you know, hurt in some way. Because there was a unity to hurt somebody in a very backstabbing, nasty way because greed and money has been here around some stuff. And that has been hurtful, folks. It really, really, really has. Give us more on the message. Somebody going to get a wish fulfillment from the stupidness out here. A business deal was here. Okay, there was a bribe there, and you always stated that somebody has hidden intentions, like I said. Somebody's trying to hurt somebody who's with the most high. You and I are his sons and his daughters. We prophesy, but you're also doing somebody sits in, in that position. And somebody is trying to maybe talk to somebody tall. That's a clue. Uh, there's business deal out here. Okay, something around a bus is also here as well. Well, travel. Something very sensitive is going on. Something very sensitive. And Yoga says that we're protected if we're found in him. That's right. No weapon formed against them. They can they can gather together and think that they're gonna do whatever they think they're gonna do, and Yehovah is not gonna allow you and I um, to be touched by the freaks that are mental. He already said they're getting the plagues. It'll boomerang on them. If somebody don't have no morals or ethics. We just seen that hierophant there, and that should be somebody again. The hierophant goes back to spiritual. There's the prophet energy as well. The hierophant goes back to teachers, preachers, um, 
prophets, apostles, mentors, things like that. And the river is here and something around water was really big again in that reading. And uh, this is the river, but it also has a meaning of a prophet it's out here. Somebody's also acting like, I don't know what you're talking about. That was real big in that reading as well. Somebody freaking crazy and what they did. They do know. They're a freaking liar. They're a narcissistic disgust. Show me the next 24 hours, please. So some, again, the word fire came out this morning. Okay, something's happened around this business deal that went down. It was very hurtful. You're out of there. You're just, you're out of there. Okay? Anyway. You need to be bussed off to the prisons where you need to go. Uh, the next 24 hours, there is some type of a conflict here with the five of wands. Okay. Somebody's got hidden intentions. But we see somebody just getting beat up to a freaking pulp. And Jehovah says, you don't touch my prophets. You don't do it. You think you're going to do that, then Jehovah's going to turn around and it's going to be you standing there. Because he will send somebody to meet you the same exact way. You start this wickedness, you want to provoke to wickedness, wickedness shall come to you then. The next 24 hours, the hermit. This goes back to business as well. This is the... Um, snake in the basket as well, trying to catch somebody up in something that's hurtful out here. Something stupid is out here. Somebody's business is out here. Again, there's a business deal. Um, there's some type of communication about something here. There will be a victory. There will be a victory. Okay? This will add another wand here. The hermit also has a wand that still take you to victory energy, even if somebody's got walls up around some matter. you got somebody of wisdom out here and a good solid testimony coming out in the next 24 hours within some communication around work matters or this business big deal or traveling or somebody who's trying to attack somebody out here. It's ridiculous. Um, the pentacle is at the bottom of the deck as well. Okay, well, that's contrary energy as well so we got more messages that we're going to take a look at here show me the messages because we got a victory in the next 24 hours somewhere a judge came out in that reading just a minute ago and the hermit represents a judge somebody's going within here within this message because there's nothing but freaking stupidness out here it's been hurtful okay and they're going to make a judgment here so let's hope that the judge is honorable Show me this. This is a favorable testimony. What it, what it means. Somebody going to get some type of favor out here. Soulmates around some stuff as well. And you have also said to honor your parents. So this could be an older person. Need to work on some stuff as well. Okay. And then trouble and sweating and vexation and a weapon that is seen and fear or an enemy. This is what some type of communication is around this. So your soulmates are communicating about some filthy, dirty thing that's taken place. There's been a weapon around some more or do no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Who, who, whatever's that, whatever that's about, that's communication going on about this stuff. Okay. There will be a positive outcome. We just, because we, we got victory out here. We declare and decree it. Somebody was going to go to prison, folks. They were going to go to prison. You have already brought it out. A truthful friend is here given some type of a communication as well. Maybe about a soulmate. Maybe they're sweating because they've got to tell about this conflict out here that's gone on around this hurtful thing that's taken place around this business. So somebody was paid off and bribed to do some stupid. Now, listen, we had uh, my hands found two cards that said a teacher. Okay, and there's children written here as well. Uh, something round is here, tripping around, skipping energy. But I had uh, two cards that said teacher. This is a school energy out here. All right, so some, something around children are out here with this page as well. And teaching energy was at the top of the, of the spy. We did have police, come, the word police came out as well. All right, so somebody's been spying somebody out. Then they got so. Somebody can go to jail for some stuff. I'm hoping you just give us some more words out here. Been some stupid competition out here around something. 
If you're new, just take the pieces that apply. All these words aren't going to go for your situation, but I'd like to take quite a few for any given person and let the great one just speak through it. Okay, we do get we do get scripture, and it's for all of us. Whatever side of that scripture that you're on, you work out your own salvation with the Father. Um, Proverbs 3, 33 and 34 says that the curse of Jehovah is in the house of the wicked. And somebody is wicked out here. They're filthy, they're dirty. Okay, this filthy, dirty energy and the negative of that stuff. Somebody's being hurtful and trying to touch somebody that Yovah says you don't do that. Taking bribes and everything else, have hidden intentions around some stupid thing, trying to get somebody caught up and say it ain't gonna work. You're cursed. And all the people say amen to the a word of the Most High. So the curse of Yehovah is in your house. You're wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just. Surely he scorns the scorner, but he gives grace to the lowly. Okay, so that's that's uh, good information for all of us. You have to declare that our walls are salvation and our gates are praise, even our internet gates. So let's do it together, Yehovah. We just declare and decree that our walls are salvation and our gates are praise. Thank you, Yehovah. Uh, he's given us words out here from scripture. Okay, well, his word, there's nothing more powerful than his word. Elohim will judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time and there is, for every purpose and for every work. Amazing, Jehovah, because he brought out that same type. It was not this card, but he brought out that there's time and judgment. And people who keep the commandment have a good understanding about time and judgment. But um, that's also why there's misery upon man, okay, as well. And there was a bunch of misery in that spoon reading as well. Somebody being judged for something that they've done, and it's time for it. And you're always the one that's judging somebody's work out here, okay? And somebody has tried to be so hurtful to somebody out here in a very bad way and got business deals going on, paying people off and, and stupidness out here. And you're being judged. Somebody's cursed out here. A new job energy is here. Well, we have work, just work, 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 work. This, this found my hands in that reading just a minute ago. It says to keep judgment and to do justice for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness is to be revealed. Thank you for your righteousness, Jehovah. Reveal it to us. A captain, a lord, a prince, a noble woman, and a government authority. And remember, we had a we have a spy out here. We had um we have had we had a government intelligent agent come on uh, both my readings this morning. So uh FBI, legal FBI is here. Somebody's been watching for a long time. Okay, some some type of a spy energy is out here, and a family member is involved in some or don't. And a farm or a farm worker, my gosh, it just comes out all the time. Uh, something around a store or a department store, just in general, a store energy is here because we have work out here around something, okay? Um, a binding rope to bind something for wrapping it around. Okay, you all stated in those readings yesterday that there was some type of choking energy that was there. And Jehovah's, if somebody's trying to do something, somebody's trying to choke somebody, it ain't going to work on you. It will flip around on you. You will be the one hanging there on a pole because you're cursed. A curse is in the house of the wicked. He will bless the habitation of the just. We will keep judgment. If somebody knows something's going on here, if a judge is filthy and dirty doing something, you're going to hang on your own gallow in the end if that's what you think you're doing. Somebody's filthy and nasty out here. There's a rope involvement in something. Something very hurtful. If that's past energy and some truthful friend's going to be given some type of a, you know, um, communication around some soulmate issue because some something about your sibling was involved and your cousin keeps coming out on the channel as well then so be it there's some type of a situation out here that's caused some type of a ordeal to go down somebody has been murdered like i said the ten of swords clarify the ten of swords something about a, a cliff a steep place or stairs something like this somebody was drug off somewhere no weapon formed against us shall prosper Jehovah send wickedness right back up on the wicked if that's what they want to breed 
just nothing but filth and maggots is all that these people do. A denial and a rejection is here on somebody. Yes, because somebody's cursing. We've already said that it was going to turn out for good. We stand in the most high. We will be blessed. Jehovah says that uh, you will see the other side of something. Today. Somebody's going to see the other side of something. Some, something around cabin fever. Well, again, we had the ship there. We had the water room come out. Oh, somebody's going to judge for that thing. And somebody does have mental problems. Yes, my God, there was uh, nothing but swords everywhere in that reading. And so if the judge has to give in the next 24 hours a judgment on something because somebody's got mental problems, then somebody's going to be denied. They need to go to jail. We've got FBI out here. Somebody's facing something like that. Oh, we got it. We got a captain, a lord, a prince, a noble. We have government authority out here. Things have been hurtful. There's been cruelty, people. There's been cruelty. Okay, this is the same rune that just came out. It's the water rune. We have cabin fever energy out here as well. And um, I'm going to read this. What did I do with the... The little book here it is um, because there was actually more that came out with this rune and I've been reading it out of the book because of that because um, I have missed uh, some of the meanings of some of these runes so I'm just trying to refresh my memory on them this is the letter L and um, it represents water, like I said. It represents balancing. Well, somebody's got mental problems out here. This is introspection. That's this. The next 24 hours, somebody's going to finally come out of the closet here and say something. Something will be public about some ordeal. If somebody's being, obviously somebody's being judged for attacking somebody as well. You always says you don't do it. Somebody's already given a good solid message up here in the now around something here. It's already showing us in the now we've got some type of, of a wish fulfillment because Jehovah's not going to let his word, you know, go void. He's going to bless somebody uh, in their habitation for being just. He's going to scorn the scorners and he's going to give grace to the lowly people. He is. You want to hate? You go ahead and hate. You want to love? Then great. Let's all love. Okay. So anyway. This goes back to medicine. We have a physician here as well. Um, humility and and, dis, uh, and uh, humility and humility and disagreement to be overcome. That's here. There's some type of strifeness out here around this, but it, it's got to be overcome, folks. It's got to be. Um, this goes back to spirituality and stuff like that as well. So we have the letter L and the letter T. Little. Okay, we have children energy out here as well, and things that have taken place with uh, you know family member and soulmates and and stuff like that, and little kids that have been hurt uh, in a really bad way. Maybe a little kid or somebody's kid got choked or something or bound up and, and stuff like that. Uh, late, somebody gonna be late. I guess somebody's late. There'll be a de there'll be a denial for something as well, especially if you're late for work or something, and something's just you. You're um, not meeting the standard like you should, or whatever that is. Whatever that is. A lot is here. We had the car lot come out the other day. Really big with travel energy. Um, but you hold this throw in the lot, and it came out twice, back to back in these readings. And uh, it's been a tribulous thing out here. Something is going to be a positive light. This is something that's just been going on and on and on and on. Constancy and something's fixing to change. You're going to see the other side of something here. And so there's a positive light. If you've been in the negative of this and you're in the narcissistic side of some type of a business deal where greed has been around and you go, oh, this is great. It's been going on for a long time. You're going to see the other side of that thing. Okay. And those people who have been oppressed and all that kind of stuff. It's going to turn the other way okay because the will was there in that reading and we've been seeing the will what comes around goes around in a situation there's a um despair somebody's got a mental problem people and we got also got a uh a weapon here that's seen somebody got a weapon in their hand somebody's got a judgment to make on some situation where something's taken place in a really bad freaking way okay um 
if somebody did get their head blown off, I guess so. I mean, somebody was just murdered with the, all the swords out there. It's craziness. If somebody just flies off the handle all the time, they can't get it under control. They cause other people to get up here and fight as well. This, this one to come out on the business still. This is a, a wedding card, but it also has a, bit, a, a meaning of a business. Uh, we have the scholar out here as well. This is somebody you can go to for advice, or you're dealing with somebody who likes to read all the time, or study, or whatever they do, or a library is connected to something, so be it. We also have a room and opening up. Okay, well, somebody, you know, whatever this is, business deal is around somebody's trying to get somebody to open up around whoever's trying to harm somebody that belongs to the most high. And he says, you don't touch my kids. Okay. You don't touch my prophets. You don't touch my apostles, my teacher. You don't put, they don't touch them. It's been hurtful. Okay. Whatever the, we have the school and the bus out here. We got, we got the innocent out here and he ain't going to hold you guiltless for touching the kids as well. Um, so somebody's friend is here and there is protection out here around this because Jehovah is our protection. Okay, but we have a truthful friend involved in some nerve and so be it. This is a friend card. Um, at the bottom of the deck is the return. You know, somebody has returned. We have soulmates here. Somebody's talking tomorrow about something. If somebody's being, you know, here's the servant card. This is a work card. This is a single female card. It could be anybody. It could be male or female. But somebody was being submissive somewhere. Or somebody's trying to pay somebody off to be submissive, to do some stupid, to return around. So it ain't going to work for you, people. You'll get your own head blown off in the end of the thing. Because the Most High is not going to, um, he's not going to bless you for being wicked on purpose to somebody. He ain't going to. He wouldn't tell us to, to quote his word if it wasn't going to affect us in a positive way. Somebody going to trip in their own trap out here. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you people. <laughs> we deal with people who have no understanding at all. They just think that they're going to try to get away with some wickedness and God's going to bless their house and God ain't going to bless you at all. You're wicked. God don't want murdering in, in the earth. Three more cards, Jehovah. So, hold on a minute. I've seen the tree card. The tree card goes back to your mind and sacrificial things, somebody's legacy, and it's also about getting grounded. Okay, if a tree is involved in something, then it's opiate. The tree is here. Uh, we also have the ship. Okay, so traveling is here. Okay, this also came out in the uh, spoon reading as well. And then we've got the cabin fever. The water rune has come out. We know that this morning the camping trip and somebody likes to hunt and fish and all that stuff came out. It's here. Somebody will be getting judged for something around that. And then there's the um, the um, crossroad card. Also, it showed itself to me at the bottom of the deck. The store there is an announcement here. There is something being said. There is a new beginning taking place. Something that's been going on one way for some people is going to go on a different way now. And there will be a positive light and Jehovah will make sure that the scorners will be scorned and they'll, they'll just all just turn on themselves. That's also the word of the Most High. They can't get it together because they're freaking mental. Okay? Oh my gosh. And don't make sign y'all shalom.